Hi, welcome to CT Guided Biopsy. This is Dr. Bhavin Jankaria. And something a little different uh, today. So we're going to talk about cryoablation of a liver metastatic lesion with a level of difficulty of 4 by 5. That's a 52 years old with a growing segment 7 liver metastasis from abdominal pleomyosarcoma. So oh, there were multiple other lesions, but these had been stable for some time and had responded to chemotherapy, but this was a new lesion on follow-up. Now, there are many ablation options available from RFA to microwave, etc. But I chose cryo so that I could control the exact ablation margin given that it's ovoid. So I used the machine from Ice Cure Israel, which is a compact machine using liquid nitrogen. The liquid nitrogen fits into the DVARs here. And this is, you know, a compact machine that can uh, be placed inside the CT scanner. And we used a 13-gauge probe uh, that goes through an introducer. And you can see that at the center, we get temperatures of uh, 170 degrees minus or less. And then the lethal zone is minus 20 to minus 40 degrees. Um, so this was the uh, lesion. The, the size was 17.3 by 18.5 mm. And so that's the introducer going in. And then through the introducer, we put the electrode at the distal edge of the lesion. The idea was to get at least a five millimeter margin. And we can see the ice ball forming here, which is the great uh, thing with cryo, because you can see what exactly is happening. Unlike RFA, where we're just estimating based on prior experience and expertise. And so then we did a thaw and then another 15 minute freeze. And that was the final um, ice ball just before we uh, removed the cryoprobe and then the introducer. And this is about 10 minutes after the last uh, freeze where we can see the ice ball itself is shrinking and that's the little air left in from uh, the um, uh, ablation. And so you can see here at different stages, that's the initial scan and that was the uh, initial uh, size of the ice ball, 22.8 by 29.2 at the end of the first freeze. And then we did a thaw and then another freeze where it's now 25.9 by 32.8 millimeters. So we're well beyond the 5 mm margin that we would require. And just to see this again, that's the uh, pre-scan at the time of the cryo and then post ablation. Now, Cryoablation pretty much can be used wherever thermal ablation is indicated. So renal tumors, lung primary and metastatic, both curative and palliative, liver, the same thing. Bone tumors, typically metastatic would be palliative, but for osteoosteoma, osteoblastoma, and perhaps chondroblastoma, this would be curative. Soft tissue tumors like fibromatosis, venous vascular malformations, cryoneurolysis for uh, pain management, and then the entire field of cryoimmunotherapy, which is still a little bit of clinical research, where the idea is that we ablate tumors and then incite an immunotherapy response uh, for the other lesions in the body. And that's a very interesting area that may eventually become a major indication for cryo. The contraindications would be the usual, a poor coagulation profile and large lesions, typically greater than five centimeters. Uh, Naveen Kalra uh, and his colleagues at uh, PGI Chandigarh have actually published this paper on cryoablation. They used another machine with argon, uh, but they ablated, um, I think, 10 tumors in nine patients with a very good um, uh, safety profile and a 77% uh, uh, efficacy rate as far as treatment was concerned, which are very, very good results, and in keeping with those published uh, worldwide as well. And we hope that we would have similar results to over a period of time. So to summarize, 52 years old, that was the size. We didn't do a pre-lesion biopsy, 13-gauge cryoprobe, no sedation required in this patient, supine oblique and in-plane angulation, uh, freeze throw fees was 15, 15, 15 minutes, no complication. And that's the level of difficulty, but it could be less or more depending on your experience. And the final outcome was complete necrosis, a complete ablation that we had. 
So you know where to email, you know where to subscribe if you'd like to, and thank you for listening.